Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. It's titled Confidence in His Forgiving Love and the Bible reading is from John chapter 4 verses 28 to 30. The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out to the city and came to him. This woman of Samaria must have been shocked to her very core when Jesus spoke to her. She expressed her surprise at his approach, asking how he could dare talk to her. After all, she was a woman, a Samaritan, and an outcast, which gave this Jewish rabbi called Jesus three perfectly good reasons to turn his back on her. She was used to being shunned. The Samaritans, despite their estrangement from the Jews, were a moral people who worshipped God and followed the law of the Old Testament. She had broken that law by her immoral lifestyle, and the fact that she was filling her water pot in the heat of the day clearly indicated her avoidance of other people. Women normally drew water for their homes first thing in the morning or in the cool of the evening, and these were times of community sharing and friendship. The other women of the town would have resisted associating with her and possibly even ridiculed her. Yet this man did not. He asked her for water and about her life. He told her of his own living water, about a life without spiritual thirst. Jesus spoke bluntly to her about her past husbands and that she now lived with a man without being married to him. She may have been immoral, but this was one smart woman. She knew the scriptures and she recognized Jesus as a prophet. When she spoke to him about the coming Christ, he acknowledged that he was the one. Wouldn't you be excited? She certainly was. She immediately ran back into the city to spread the news. She didn't think about being ridiculed or avoided. She even forgot her water pot. She brought the whole city out to hear the news of the Messiah. When Christ comes into our lives, Whatever past sins may have clouded our lives are forgiven, wiped clean. As with the Samaritan woman, he doesn't care what we were, only what we are going to be now that he is a part of us. We can start fresh, having the confidence to push forward and face whatever has been holding us back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you've all had a very wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!